It's April 17th today. It's about a week after our last video. These colonies are about ready for a second box, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're pretty early this year. Normally we're not doing this already, April 17th, but as you can see looking at these boxes, see how there's like eight seams of bees in there. It's pretty much the rule we go by when they have eight frames of bees, it's time for another box. And it's also a cool, overcast evening. So yeah, it's not a not... great day to do this, but it's the time we have to do it. So we're going to just tear through and probably take a little bit of abuse for it because this is not the right time to be going into a colony. So what we have set up back there is just an empty deep. We do have ten drawn frames in there again. And all we're going to do is go through this bottom box and find two frames of brood. Capped brood is what we want, and ideally not drones. So we're trying to find two frames of capped worker brood, or at least frames that have capped worker brood on them. I think that one's perfect. And then we're going to take that and put it in the top box. We normally put it in like position four, and then we'll do a blank frame next to it in position five, just like that. An empty frame. An empty frame. And then we'll put a another brood frame in position six. So it's the two brood frames get moved to the top box with an empty frame put in between them. If you were running fresh colony where you have empty frames or empty or foundation, it would be you'd be doing the same thing. Just the fact that we have this comb is going to give these colonies a big, a good boost as the queen can start laying this immediately. Okay, so we'll pull that one up. Yeah, this drawn comb just gives the colonies a pretty big boost over undrawn frames or foundation. Let's them use it immediately. And then we'll go in here, and the term is checkerboarding it. Uh, it comes from like a chess chessboard or a checkerboard where the colors alternate. You do the same thing with your bee frames. So that's another nice frame of brood. So we're going to put more empty space in the middle of the brood nest. So now they have all of a sudden a bunch of space in the bottom box to lay and a whole top box above them that they're attracted to because of the brood helps them move up into that box and accept that as colony space. In our experience, you can just drop an empty box of comb. If you have the drawn comb, you can drop an empty box on top and the bees will move up 90% of the time? Most of the time, just a little bit slower and not 100% of the time. Whereas if you take the time to do this, Pretty much every time they're going to move right up into the top box. So yeah, I said in the last video you'd be surprised what these colonies look like in a few weeks. Here we are one week later and that little five frame colony or four frame colony is now a ten frame colony. It's and a little more than a week, no? Ten days? Yeah, the dates will say it. But yeah, they, they grow quickly. And they're going to continue to grow because there's... At least, there's probably five frames of cap root in there right now, which is 15 frames of bees on the way. So with, this space is going to be utilized very shortly. So that's all we're going to do. Nothing different between the two colonies today. And we're gonna, just going to rinse and repeat and do this same process again. And probably be back again in another week and see what other manipulations this colony needs. Just as a point of comparison while we're here, you can see that this colony is just about identical in strength. Looking down from the tops, it's, you can be deceived sometimes by deep looking at bees from the top of frames. Uh, but knowing where they were just a little bit ago, and seeing this amount of strength in both, it's obvious they're both still on the same path. There's nothing here that draws our attention to say the colony needs to be inspected harder. They're both growing really well, and we're going to do our best to keep up with them.